This is your DNA Info update for Thursday, August 26th. After a rainy week, it was sunny with a high of 82 today, but will drop to a low of 63 this evening. In your headlines, the Muslim cab driver who was stabbed allegedly by a film student in an apparent hate crime met with Mayor Michael Bloomberg today. Ahmed Sharif and his family were hosted by the mayor in a private meeting at City Hall that lasted more than an hour. Former Bush Cheney campaign manager Ken Melman has acknowledged he is gay. The sexual orientation of the former chairman of the Republican National Convention had long been the subject of rumors. Melman also recently purchased a home in Chelsea, irking some neighbors. Looking to buy an apartment in one of Manhattan's most expensive zip codes? An online auction called Bid on the City is currently offering two studios on the Upper East Side with a starting bid of just a buck. The streamlined process allows current homeowners to unload their properties in mere minutes. And elected officials celebrated what would have been Mother Teresa's 100th birthday today with a series of volunteer events across the city. However, a decision by the Empire State Building not to light the iconic high-rise in honor of the Catholic humanitarian prompted a rally outside the landmark tonight. Those are your headlines. Get all your Manhattan local news at dnainfo.com.